I love doing store reviews on Redbubble, and I got an email from the owner of Hollystone Harbor, which is a shop on Redbubble. 281 designs. They're based out of Whitby, Canada, which is my home country. And the message says, I've been at it a year now, and sales have been poor. And could you please critique the store for me? Is there any way I can take this store to the next level? 281 designs. I love the storefront. And let's see how many favorites we've got after one year on Redbubble. We've got 119 favorites. Hmm. So there's some things that Boatswain here is doing correctly, and I love it. And there's some things that I think, I've got, actually got a couple pointers here, I think that could, if they're implemented, could easily supercharge this store. So stay tuned, and let's jump in and check out Hollystone Harbor. Okay, so look, there's a bunch of things that this store is doing correctly, but to me, they're the bare bones in order to get up and running. So they're the deal breakers if you don't do them correctly, but they are doing it. So first of all, I love the, the banner. I love the artist profile. So down at the bottom here, we've got a little artist profile, makes him look like a human being, which is great. And we've even got here custom work DM me, which I love. And we've got a little link here to Instagram. We've got a link here to Facebook. Wonderful. So I love this. Okay. So how can we improve this store? First and foremost, you've been at this for a year and you've got 281 designs, which is okay. But what I would suggest is by now, after having been at it for a year, you have enough data to know what people like. So what I mean by that is you can go down here to the bottom and you can see, we we can see, me, I'm not part of your store. I can see you have 119 favorite. However, you can go up here to the top and when you log in, you can go into your activity feed and you can see exactly who has favorited 119. So you can go in and see which of these designs are most popular. Now I can take a guess because I can look at your shop and I can see, hmm, most of the time this is sorted by relevancy. It says right here on the top right, most relevant. So I'm gonna guess, and it's a pretty good guess, that these 10 designs are your most popular designs. These are the ones that are getting the most likes and the most follows. So what I would suggest is ask yourself, is there a way you can scale up any one of these most popular designs? And I would say yes, right here. I'm a big deal in Dartmouth, right there. As soon as I see a location t-shirt, my eyes turn green with money signs because this is something where you could make easily 500 more shirts because it's just a text design. And it's a very good looking text design, by the way. I'm a big deal in Dartmouth, easy to read, white font. Now you've got here, I'm a big deal in uh, Parsboro. I'm a big deal in Bridgewater. I'm not seeing a ton of those shirts. I'm seeing a few. There's Yarmouth here. I would suggest spend the next month, make 10 designs a day, double your designs on your store. 10 designs a day times 30 days moves you from 281 designs to 581 designs. And you know this could be a big seller or at least a popular design because it's in your top 10, three of them are in your top 10. Now you may want to also, if, you, if you're so inclined, do variants of this. So then after you've got say 500 of these that are white, do 500 in black text. Then you could anything that is maritime or related, put an anchor picture underneath. You can just go to SVG SILH, which is a silhouette, free public domain silhouette store and put an anchor or a boat you can just have just a basic looking design, but it's it adds to it because right now, the, the reason you may not be making a sale on this t-shirt is it's just text. And somebody somewhere goes, hmm, well, my buddy's pretty good with Photoshop. I wonder if he can just make that shirt for me. So stick another element to it and you can make that design even better. Another way that you can dominate on Redbubble is to pick one thing and run with it. So if you're not inclined to do that, if you're thinking, eh, I don't really want to spend the rest of my life here doing big deal t-shirts, and that's personally what I would do, but if you wanted to do something else, another thing you can do is take a look at your collections. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten. You've got about 15, 16 collections here, and they're very, very diversified. Everything from animals, food and drink, kawaii, nautical, tattoo parlor, the list goes on and on. These are all individually fine niches, but you may at this stage want to brand your store as the something store. 
So for example, if you were going to do nautical, if that's the part of the area of the world that you live out in the Maritimes, I would just do all nautical t-shirts for the next year. That's what I would focus on. Because what's happening, if you find that you have low favorites, so here's 119 favorites, the reason might be, and again, we're playing the role of detective here, the reason might be, let's pretend I really want a maritime design. So I find your store, wow, Holly Stone Harbor, it's got the ocean, it's got the beach, here's a picture with a boat on it, and then as I scroll through, I'm not really seeing a lot of maritime, like that's all looking similar. I see like, here's a boat, here's a lighthouse, here's a seagull. They're, they're sort of maritime, but notice even these three designs, they're all completely different, different colored shirts. This one's a rainbow. This one is a classic sh uh, ship. This one is a, another different type of retro design. So they're all different. So what you may want to do is pick one style of shirt and run with that. So for example, if you really like, and I happen to really like this type of design, you can go to a site like All Sunsets and they have, um, you know, lots of designs that are sunset related. So you could try that, for example, or you could pick a you know, public domain artwork and you could run with that. The idea here is that because these are so different, they're really t it's really tough for somebody to kind of fall in love with your store. They might like one design, like this is great. East Don't Air is the 401, you know, highway signs in Canada are public domain. You could pick a whole bunch of different highway signs. Like that's an idea there. But if I like this, I'm not going to favorite the store because there's no other designs that are similar to it. If I really like little jellyfish here, where's the other jellyfish? I really like pineapples. It's just one. There's just one of everything. So you may want to decide, again, go to the top of your store and go, okay, who's favoriting what here? And if they're favoriting a bunch of the same type of design, you may want to just double down on that and make your store the it store, whatever it is, whatever you decide the store is, make it that store. And here's just an example of how you can sort of take your shop to the next level. So I just typed in highway and I found this design here. It's of a British Columbia crest and it's similar, right? Because it's a highway design. And when I click on this person's store, we can see this person here has 3000 designs. So again, that's something to shoot for. You may want to someday have 3000 designs in your store. And you can see here, they actually have coat of arms is their most popular thing. They've got three different collections. And as I look at their top results, they've got coat of arms, that pop up numerous times. And out of 3,000 designs, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see they have 12,000 favorited because it's a lot of coat of arms. You'll just, as I scroll through this whole store, you can just see it's coat of arms, coat of arms, flags, coat of arms. So what happens when you see a lot of favorites in a store is you look for what is similar throughout the entire store. Notice most of these are facing as stickers. There's a few mouse pads and hats, but a lot of them are sticker designs. And these sticker designs are very popular. And as a result, I'm much more likely to favor this store because I go, oh, this is the coat of arms store. A lot of this is just coat of arms, highway stuff, flag stuff, huh? So that's, that's why people favorite the store is because they've branded the store. So the thing I like about your store is you already have a brand built in. Holly Stone Harbor is a maritime store. So if you're asking me my personal opinion, and I think you are, I think you need to double down on the maritime designs. So you need to do two things. One, have a featured collection. That is, I'm a big deal. That should be 500 shirts. Now, I know you can only do 100 shirts in a collection, but maybe you do um, maritime, I'm a big deal maritime. I'm a big deal Alberta. I'm a big deal British Columbia. I'm a big deal United States. And maybe you do 100 shirts in each of those collections. It's kind of boring. I mean, you're sitting in a sweatshop pounding out the exact same design. But think about maybe having an American flag, having a Canadian flag, having a state crest, having a provincial crest. There's all sorts of different ways you can sort of spice it up a little bit. And then second is double down on the maritime stuff. Have more boats. Have more ships. Have everything in your store just be maritime related. What would happen is somebody's going to find your store. And even if that day, if they don't like exactly what they're seeing, they will favorite your shop because they go, ha, Boatswain is the maritime store. Holly Stone Harbor is the maritime store. Favorite. 
So I hope you found that helpful. Just a couple of quick tips there on how you can supercharge your store to the next level. And, you know, I welcome your guys' comments as well. Um, you know, if you guys have any suggestions, any ideas, by all means, throw them down in the comments below. I absolutely love doing store reviews. And again, you know, have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your store. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.